Our local towers are hosting a holy event. Holy is India's festival of colors. Happy Holy! So, Holi is a festival of colors. The basic concept is everyone's gonna look the same once you're covered in color. It's almost essentially a festival against racism, if you want to put it that way. There's a bit of a complicated story about Radha and Krishna in which Krishna was jealous of Radha's skin color, so he covered her in color so that they would all look the same. But I can't remember the whole story, so I don't want to get anything in factual, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. There's lots of different ways to celebrate Holi. Essentially though, it's a matter of just having a giant party and celebrating color, celebrating vibrance, celebrating life, celebrating everything. The primary thing everyone uses to pelt each other with with color is like a colored powder. But they also have these tanks. And they have like colored gases and stuff that they spray up in a heck of a display. Additionally to that, everyone likes to use water guns and water balloons and stuff. Now, some of them have color in, some of them are just kids playing. <laughs> Not only this, but I found a lot of Indian festivals is that it doesn't matter who you know and who you don't know, everyone here seems to be one giant family during these sorts of festivals. It's also a wicked excuse to have a party as well. <laughs> like most festivals in India, it's just it's just one big party the whole time. <laughs> giant kids water fight slash water balloon party slash color party. Obviously, no Indian festival would be complete without some sort of food. Although I'm a little bit late to the party, so there's not much left. <laughs> Although the event was well catered, I didn't have time for food. If you've never celebrated Holi before, you've got to try it at least once. The water was warm, the music shook the ground, the colors were just so vibrant and amazing. It was incredible fun, I had such an amazing time. And I really enjoyed how friendly and inviting complete and total strangers were. I realized that the Korta is not exactly a prerequisite for any festival in India. We had ordered a t-shirt for me to wear, but there was a little bit of an issue with it. Extra large. Does this look extra large to you? And that's it, all good things must come to an end. This was only one of, I don't even know how many hundreds of thousands of holy parties going on across India all at the same time today. <sighs> Hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Be good to yourselves, and I'll catch you all in the next one. There's still plenty more to see and do here in India. Take care, guys.